Hello, my name is Amy and today we're going to read a story. This one is called Chopsy and Tim Go on a Train by Jean and Gareth Adamson. Chopsy and Tim were going to visit their granny. They were going by train because granny lived a long way away. Hurry up, Chopsy and Tim, said mummy. We mustn't miss our train. They were taking lots of luggage with them, so Mummy called a taxi to drive them to the station. I wish we could go faster, said Tim. We'll miss the train. No, we won't, said Mummy. They reached the station with plenty of time to spare. The kind taxi driver found a special trolley for their bags. Topsy and Tim pushed it through the booking hall. People were queuing to buy tickets at the ticket office. I'm glad I came to buy our tickets yesterday, said Mummy. Now we don't have to join that queue. Our train leaves from platform two, said Mummy. She showed their tickets to the platform guard. Platform two is over the bridge, he told them. Phew, said Tim, as they pushed their trolley up the slope to the bridge. Whee! said Topsy as they trundled it down to the other side. There was a little shop on the platform. Topsy and Tim chose some comics to look at on the journey. A lot of people were waiting for the train. At last, a loudspeaker told them that it had arrived. Here's our train, shouted Topsy. I saw it first, said Tim. It was quite a scramble to get on the train. Stay close to me and mind the gap between the train and the platform edge, said Mummy. There was a squash inside the train too, but clever Mummy found some empty seats. I want to sit by the window, said Tim. It's not fair, said Topsy. I want to sit by the window. Luckily, there were two empty window seats, so everyone was happy. A whistle blew and the train began to move. We're off, said Mummy. Hooray, shouted Topsy and Tim. Soon the train was rushing through the countryside. Topsy and Tim looked out of the window to see what they could spot. I can see a pony, said Topsy. I can see some cows, said Tim. What can you see? I can see some sheep over here too. But there also is a dog. See if you can spot the dog. Tickets, please, said the friendly voice. It was the ticket inspector. He had come to check their tickets. Are you off on your holidays, he asked. We're going to stay with our granny, said Topsy. Can I come too, said the ticket inspector. But he was only joking. Are we nearly there, asked Tim. Not yet, said Mummy. The door at the end of the carriage opened and a lady pushed a rattling trolley towards them. It was filled with things to eat and drink. Oh, it looks so tasty. Would you both like a sandwich, asked Mummy. I want a ham sandwich, said Tim. A cheese sandwich, please, said Topsy. They both had some orange juice and Mummy had a cup of coffee. Suddenly, the train rushed into a long, dark tunnel. It made the carriage look gloomy and strange. Oh, uh, said Topsy. My ears feel funny, said Tim. Drink some orange juice, said Mummy, then they'll feel better. At last, the train stopped at Granny's station. There's Granny, shouted Topsy and Tim. They both wanted to hold Granny's hand. I'm glad I've got two hands, laughed Granny. I wish I had three, said Mummy. Topsy and Tim are helping Mummy with the trolley. Look closely at the picture below. 
Then look at the pictures opposite. Can you work out which one is exactly the same? Which one looks exactly the same? Look at the colours of their clothing. What shoes they're wearing. What colour their luggage is. Which one do you think is exactly the same? Which one both has Topsy and Tim? I think it's this one here. What do you think? And that's the end. This is a map of the village where Granny lives. Hope you enjoyed that story of called Topsy and Tim Go on a Train.